Welcome back to Studio 10, everybody. You know, your home is your castle, as the saying goes, but when it's damaged by high winds and torrential rains, your castle can quickly become your number one source of stress. But that is why we have the gang from Tower Hill Insurance Group with us today. They're going to prepare you for what to do after that storm has passed. And President Don Matz joins us now along with Randy Curlin, manager of the Property Insurance Evaluations Vendor Program and Vice President of Plains, Tim Burns. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, How are you? hey before we get into things, I'm curious, where does the where does the name come from? What is it, Tower Hill? Is that a, is that a place or is that just a cool sounding name? Where, what's, the, uh, what's the genesis of that? It's derived from a road where our office was originally located in Gainesville. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yes, Tower okay. Road. Tower Road, Tower Hill Insurance. But it translates very well because every castle has a tower and your home is in fact your castle. So, Don, what would you say is the first thing, what is that first uh, feeling, the first reaction that your homeowners have when they realize some, there's been major damage to their home? Oftentimes it can be confusion or what should I do next? Mm -hmm. And that's where uh, Randy and Tim and their, part, their team come into play. Uh, and that's what we'd like to talk about. When we were here a year ago, we talked about preparation for a hurricane, mm -hmm. uh, sitting down with your agent, reviewing your policy, preparing a disaster preparedness kit, uh, knowing your evacuation route. Those are all great things to do and you should do those in preparation. However, now we'd like to talk about what goes on if mother nature doesn't cooperate what should you do next so randy i would guess you've you've been out uh, you know after a, after a storm not even a hurricane but maybe even just a severe thunderstorm sure. and what what is what's the number one question people have i'm, I'm sure they're very glad to see you right. but what do they what, what do they ask you the most often uh, as far as not necessarily what they ask or what, what can I do, uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. and more importantly, the first thing you want to do is secure your property from further damage. Uh, securing property could be anything from removing fallen trees from the home, uh, boarding up windows that may have been broken out, uh, holes in the roof, placing tarps on the roof, uh, that type of thing to prevent further damage to the home. And oftentimes, if it's a large enough storm, uh, the homeowners, they're obviously returning to the home and they have those questions, what can I do? Uh, and we have resources available for our insureds, uh, for our customers to uh, offer uh, licensed, insured, reputable contractors that can come out and offer those services. And Tim, I would guess people, as, you know, as soon as the accident happens, they want to check yesterday, right? They, I mean, they sure do. Uh, but, you know, what's very difficult after a storm is logistics. Hmm. I mean, we often have to wait a week or so uh, to get out to see people. Uh, but because we have, often, I'm sorry to interrupt, but probably oftentimes you maybe physically can't even get out to the property if there's enough stuff in the road or, or whatever. Take Tampa, for example. I mean, Tampa has, has difficulty getting to certain places and with all the water that's around here. So generally you got to wait until everybody's out of harm's way before you can get into an area. Um, we've been able to develop an awful lot of resources and we learn our lessons year after year uh, as events happen. Uh, develop more resources, uh, contractor programs, water extraction vendors. Um, we get into tree removal companies, you know, things that can that separate Tower Hill, in, in my mind anyway, uh, is to go ahead and uh, develop customer service programs and take care of those insureds that we do have. So if somebody calls you up, you're able to sort of direct them and guide them with, with these uh, names of businesses that, look, you can get help from, from this tree removal service. They don't have to Certainly. necessarily, in their panic, be looking that up themselves. Yeah, and Randy can probably comment a lot more on that, the process that we go through to solicit companies or bring them into our fold for our customers. Um, but, but again, to have that resource, to go to your agent, okay, to go to our website, um, to contact the claims department, we do have resources available for our customers. And what about uh, if you know an area has been hit by a storm? I mean, what, what is the protocol in your office? I mean, do you automatically start to look to see if you have people in the affected area? Or what, what, once the storm has moved through, what's, what's the first thing you guys do? Well. Even before the storm has moved through, we're, we're looking at and planning the projection of the storm, a hurricane, you know, what are the projected paths, what is our exposure in those areas. And for Tim uh, and our cat manager, they're looking at what our resources are. They're already making calls a week out when we have something brewing in the tropics. Let's right. get, uh, you know, let's get the troops together and, and get ready. Uh, for me, I'm contacting all our contractors, all our emergency response vendors, uh, making sure they're ready to go, going ahead and staging them and certain 
certain areas. So once the storm passes through, we can get someone out there immediately. So as soon as that cone of uncertainty pops up on the weather map, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. when you guys really We're start to action. go to work, right? This is when we get excited. We, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's our bag. I yeah. mean, that's what we like to do. Um, you know, very often a lot of training sessions take place uh, a week or so before the storm even uh, makes sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are ready that once the, 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 the logistics and we're able to get to the areas, um, our people are ready to go. Now, Randy, you mentioned that it's important for people to secure what they have left of their home to protect their family and themselves. But before they do that, should they take pictures? Should they immediately uh, document the damage that's, that's been done? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, documentation is key, especially helping the adjuster out when they're investigating the claim, mm -hmm. trying to apply the appropriate coverages and get those payments out, take care of our customers. Uh, in order uh, for the adjuster to assess the damage properly, they need to have that documentation available to them. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also stressed to our customers, you know, prior to a storm hitting, documenting uh, the the condition of the home, sure. contents in the home, that type of uh, stuff that, that we need to settle the claim. And, uh, you know, we haven't been hit by a major storm here in several years here in the Bay Area. Yeah, th yeah. thankfully. <laughs> but, and you get what, what the, the meteorologists call the hurricane amnesia. But, but really, you know, you, there's so much to keep in mind. If people aren't insuring their properties and so forth with Tower Hill. What would you say to people that you like to bring on board into the Tower Hill family? Well, I think we offer uh, a lot of experience. We've been here since 1972. We're the fourth largest writer of residential property in the state. We have 350,000 customers. We've been through hurricanes, Andrew, all the hurricanes, 2004, 2005, and everything in between. In fact, between 2004 2005 we paid out over 135,000 claims totaling 2.2 billion dollars so we have a lot of experience in, in dealing with hurricanes and the and their aftermath so deal with an established company and we're going to show you exactly how you can do that by the way this is all listed at studio10.tv first of all tower hill is part of our hurricane guide which you can pick up at any ace hardware location or right here at uh, 10 news in our studios up at our front desk and uh, also we want to make sure that you have all the information you need about Tower Hill Insurance Group. There are some phone numbers for you. Check this out. If you are already a Tower Hill Insurance Group customer, you can make policy changes by calling that 800 number right there to prepare yourself. And if you are a, uh, if you're looking for a home insurer uh, home, if you will, then uh, there's a phone number for you there too. And you can also go to thig.com and learn more as well. Thank Don, you very much. Thank Jenny. you. Don, Randy, and Tim, I think they're going to go uh, bother Bobby Deskins and take a look at the traffic maps right <laughs> <Yeah>. now. Just <laughs> Before you leave, double check the maps before you take <laughs> off, right? Thanks.